This seed was planted in 1992, around November of 1992. I remember it well when uh, mom and dad and a small band of believers from uh, San Diego moved to Atlanta, Georgia to red clay country. He um, had his mind to do something other than stay there. Uh, when he did tell me though, I did let him know that things would, it's okay, but things would be a bit different moving to Georgia than it was the move that I had to make to San Diego. My dad, he comes to us and he's like, I'm moving to Atlanta. And this time around, I was excited because I've seen the work. I've seen how the church grew in California into a thriving ministry in San Diego. And so I was ready. You know, I was married. I had um, my one child. And we were like, hey, let's go. Let's do this. Let's support uh, dad. And so we came to Georgia in November of 1992, just me and my daughter. She was just two years old at the time. And we started, we started this work. And I labored with my father um, with harvest time. And I remember when he told us the name when we were in San Diego and he said, I'm gonna name the church Harvest Time. And it just really resonated with me. And I could immediately visualize multiple souls. I could just visualize many people coming in. And definitely that's what happened when we came here, just the souls that migrated, that came in, were blessed by this ministry. And one thing I could truly say, this was a place where lives were changed. And so we did have a base to start with, and God just moved it from there. And others began to come, certainly Sister Hooper, while we were still at the church, it was First Christian Church, and we thought that we would be able to purchase that church and uh, in College Park, but things didn't work out that way. Um, it just was over our head at the time, and so we had to move into a restaurant, <laughs> Shoney's Restaurant, and that was truly an adventure, being in Shoney's Restaurant, converting it into a house of worship. 